So LEGO revealed some new sets for Ninjago. So first up we have this, I guess, new gimmick for this season. Uh, and it is like this, it's basically just Spinjitsu. This is the Lloyd one. I can't really see what it's supposed to be. We need better pictures to see it. And then there's also a Cobra right here. Yeah, and they're bad images. So they're, all these images are really blurry. But I th I'm pretty sure there's going to be either a Kai or a J1 also. But these look like they're exclusive minifigures. And they it will be retailing for $10 USD and $13 Canadian. So this next set is like in a dungeon. It looks pretty cool. And it will be retailing for $30 USD. And I'm pretty sure $43 or something somewhere around there Canadian. And this set looks really cool. There's like some goblin minifigures. I'm guessing those are the bad guys for those this season. And the ninja look really cool. As you like, also looks like it comes with one of those spinners from the spin uh burst, whatever it's called. Yeah, but I'm probably gonna get this one. Looks pretty cool. Next we have the gemstone mech. This one will be retailing for $70 in the United States, and I'm pretty sure $100 Canadian. And this set looks pretty cool. It looks like a merger mech between Kai and Cool, like half of it's uh, earth and half of it's fire. Sure, it's not as big as like the monkey kid ones, but as you can see all in the minifigures, like Kai and Cool's armor is now gold and in the other one it was silver so next up we have this floor plus set and it's for thirty dollars in the united states and forty three dollars canadian I'm pretty sure and this should not be thirty dollars it should be twenty dollars most i like the little uh jay's plane i forgot what that thing's called that's a cool minified version but the te temple's also a pretty good build for a four plus set but uh, Spitta's little snake car thing is not very good. But this is kind of overpriced, and I don't really get the point of it for collectors. So I saved the best set for last. This is like the original Destiny's Valley from Season 1, like before it could fly. And it'll be retailing for $130 in the United States, and I think $184 in Canada. I'm not sure on the exact price in Canadian. But this set looks really cool. Looks like it's going to be pretty big because of the size of the dragon's head. But I like how they include young Lloyd and Sam Rainier. So it's actually accurate to season 1 when they found the Destiny's Bounty. So those are my thoughts on these sets. Make sure you subscribe so when I we get clearer images and the rest of the line, I'll be able to cover it and you won't miss it. But yeah, those are my thoughts and that's end the video.